if you're trying to share a file here as a song file here in GarageBand and running into trouble, in this video, I'm gonna show you a workaround that can help you with the new share sheet here in iOS 13. So let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today where my goal is to help you create, record and release your best music. Now, this is something that I've had a few questions via email and on my YouTube channel comments over the last couple of weeks and I hadn't been able to work out why it was happening, but now I have. So here's the deal. When we come out here, so this is my podcast that I've just released and yes, that is a shameless plug and promotion. There'll be a link in the description. If I want to export this, if I tap on select and I go to this podcast, down here in the bottom left, I'm going to tap on the share button here. So we're going to tap on that. We go here, we can share the song. We tap on song. We want to share it as an uncompressed WAV file. That's all good. We tap share. I've got other videos showing you exactly how to do this. Now, if we come down here, you'll notice here we've got a save to files option. Now, this wasn't here for a little while and it's been added back in, but it doesn't work. It actually creates a weird file, which I'll show you in a moment. What we actually need to do if you're having this problem is tap on open in, and that's gonna open up and export the file and then we can save it out. But let's show you firstly what happens if we hit save to files. So we're gonna tap on save to files. It all looks like it's working well. It's exporting the song, or in this case, the podcast. And once it is completed, once it's done here, we'll return and I'll show you the problem that we have. So that's done now, here it is, it's popped up. We're gonna put this out somewhere, we'll just put it here. In fact, let's come up here, we'll go to, on my iPhone. We'll pop it in my GarageBand for iOS folder here. We'll hit save in the top right corner. Right, that is saved, okay, we'll hit done. We're all good here. What we can now do is let's switch over to the Files app and check out this file because this should be a WAV file that we can now use any way we like. So we're here in our Files app, we're gonna go on my iPhone, we're gonna go GarageBand because, uh-oh, here it is, podcast1.wave. It looks like a WAV file. It seems to act like a WAV file, but when we tap on it, it, it doesn't play like a WAV file. It's not playing nicely here. And when I first got told about this problem, I couldn't replicate it because I was using the other method that I'm going to show you now, which is how we can work around this. So I don't know why this is happening. It may be a bug in iOS 13. It's still here in the latest version of iOS 13, but... We can't actually do anything with this WAV file. Let's now jump back and do that again, and I'll show you the way that's going to give us a successful WAV file. So once again, we're gonna tap select in the top right corner. We're gonna tap on my podcast audio file here. In the bottom left, we're gonna tap the share button. We're gonna share as a song. Now you can use any of the qualities here. We're just using an uncompressed WAV for this one. We're gonna tap share in the top right corner. And now, before we go ahead and do anything here, Let's not go down to save to files. Let's tap on open in. Now this was the workaround we used to have to use before iOS 13 to make sure we got the file. And it seems we still have to use that here in iOS 13. So let's wait for this to finish exporting and then we'll show you what we need to do next. So that is done and we get a different version of our share sheet. And again, we can save to files, but this time when we tap save to files, and we add this, we'll do it to the same location, we'll go on my iPhone and we'll go GarageBand and we'll tap save up here in the top right corner. And yes, we've already got one, we're gonna keep both so you can see the difference here. Podcast one already exists, we're gonna keep both. We're gonna tap on that one. Now let's jump back over to our files app and see the difference between this version and the other version that we exported. Right, drum roll please, we'll tap on GarageBand for iOS. Here's the difference, right? There's podcast1.wave, that file doesn't quite look right. This one here, over here, in fact, it's not that one, it's the podcast12, this is the actual file that we want. So it's double the size for some reason, and I don't even know what's going on there. But the good news is when we tap on this one, it's gonna bring up our WAV file, we can hit play. <laughs> Welcome to Home Studio Q&A. And you can, I can now listen to that. So this was frustrating me today because I'm trying to upload the first episode of my new podcast. I was exporting it and I was like, oh, this is what everyone's been telling me about with this problem. So yes, this is the solution. So once again, if you have this problem here in GarageBand, the solution is simple. All you need to do is make sure that when you're exporting, instead of tapping on save to files, you tap on that save, you tap open in, and then you save to files. Let's show you one more time just so that we can be clear and you know exactly what to do. So here we are back in GarageBand. There's my good audio file down the bottom there. There's my bad audio file. But let's show you this one more time. We'll tap select, we'll tap on podcast one, we'll tap share in the bottom left corner and we'll tap on song. 
and we'll choose what quality we want. That's cool. We'll tap on share and it'll pop up to here. Now, remember, don't go save to file straight from here. It simply will not work. Tap on your open in button there and you'll be good to go. There's two more videos linked down below all about file management here in iOS 13. If you want to subscribe to the channel, which I suggest because I have videos almost every day, you can click or tap on the Studio Live Today icon. And don't forget to subscribe to my new podcast that will be linked down in the description as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.